All right, everybody. It is about <clears throat> 10, 19. I started cooking this around 9.35, the turkey meat. And I wanted to show you something. I used like a mallet and I've cut them down even smaller because by doing that, I'm really letting out all the flavor from the bones that are in between inside. So they're smaller pieces now. So, and they've been cooking since then and I've been cleaning the broth. I need to clean it up again, get rid of some of that froth that's in there. Um, sorry, my camera just kind of got in there and steamed up. But, um, so that's cooking. And I want to apologize for earlier. My voice sounded super nasally. Um, it's not normally like that. I'm not sick or anything, but I just lost a really dear friend of mine um, yesterday. So I've been crying all night, so. Um, and I guess it's part of the grieving process, but I know he would not have wanted to see me crying forever about it, but, um, you know, it is part of life, and, you know, everyone has to grieve their own certain way, and I think yesterday was when it got me, but, um, okay, enough about that. I have chopped up everything. I put the lentils in a mug. Um, they've already been rinsed, and they're already kind of dry. And I chopped up all my carrots. I like to chop them up in rounds like that and around this size because they cook up pretty easily like that. Then the zucchini has been chopped up and I chop them up like this size, like cubed. And again, it doesn't take that long to cook them when they're like that, but that seems to really help cook them down. And there was one other ingredient that I did not mention that I need to do, and that would be the last the last ingredient, and that is like a medium-sized onion. Um, I usually use red onions, and I will chop it in half, remove the heart out of it. It makes it easier to chop it up, and I will chop it up, and if you're Latina, you know, um, or Latin, you'll know that you use onions for sofrito, and usually you'll use the sofrito like as a, an extra added um, flavor thing, I guess. So I'll make a sofrito in the pan, and then um, once the soup has cooked and everything is done, then it'll be tossed back into the pot, and then I'll stir it in, and then the soup should be done. So right now, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the, it's 1021, I wanted to, to do it a little bit later, but I guess it's good enough time than ever to toss in the lentils. And then, now that they're in there, going to stir all of this up a bit and the lentils are going to cook well it's 1021 they'll cook until like I'm going to say 11 11 11 10 maybe they'll cook in the broth a little bit longer and I've been chucking the salt in it too because um the you gotta remember the smoked turkey can um be a bit it can be a bit salty so um you want to make sure you don't over salt your, your meal so you just constantly um, tasting the broth here and there just to make sure that it's not over salted and I did add some salt to it because the smoked turkey alone is not enough to give this enough salt so but you just have to make sure you're checking how much you're adding so these will cook for a bit Louie oh my goodness sorry my dog is eating my cat's food and my cat's complaining so um We're going to let this cook for another half hour or so, and once that's done, then we'll toss in the carrots, and we'll toss in this, and we will sprinkle this, and we'll let that cook for another 25, 30 minutes, so there goes almost two hours, and then the last thing, we will saute that medium-sized onion, and then we'll toss it in there, and then voila, you're done.